The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Election seasons are seasons of heightened anxiety and fear and division. Following Jesus' model of caring for the most vulnerable, we believe God calls us to stay attentive to the policies and leaders that impact our collective well-being. We believe God calls us to use our vote to work towards building God's beloved community here on earth. And we believe that God calls us to prayer. Our prayer tonight is a stitching together of scripture and poetry and song. We invite you to light a candle, dim your lights, and be still in the presence of God as the Holy Spirit opens our hearts to receive the word that is our refuge and strength. The music that is sung is simple and repetitive, so we invite you to sing or hum along as we go, but mostly we invite you to be still, to rest in the darkness and silence of this time, to quiet the anxieties and sit in the presence of God. Holy God, we come to you today in prayer full of emotions. Election seasons always seem to bring that out in us. Worry and hope, fear and frustration, the list could go on. So today we bow our heads together and ask for guidance. Open our ears to hear the groans of creation. Open our eyes to see the needs of others. Open our hearts to make room for empathy. Give us the wisdom to navigate challenging conversations. Give us the patience to disagree with grace. Give us the compassion to make decisions for the greater good. And when all else fails, bring us back to love. Bring our hearts and our hands, our dreams and our hopes, our anger and our frustration, our hurt and our fear, all back to love. 
With hope we pray, with hope we are sustained. Amen. A reading from Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, 
though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. God's voice resounds. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations God has brought on the earth. God makes wars cease to the end of the earth, breaking the bow, shattering the spear, and burning the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. God never stands far off, but is close at hand. In Christ Jesus, God draws near to us, offering grace upon grace, mercy beyond measure, and life without end. You who are troubled or in distress, you who feel separated from God's love, 
God is with you. You who are filled with fear or anxiety, you who tremble when the earth shakes and the nations rage and our words begin to crumble, God is our help in times of trouble. You who cry out for wars to cease and violence to end, know that God will crush our weapons of war and turn our hearts toward peace. God's justice and peace is our defense. God, our refuge and strength, you have bound us together in a common life. In all our conflicts, help us to comfort one another without hatred or bitterness, to listen for your voice amid competing claims, and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Oh. 
Blessing in the Chaos by Jan Richardson. To all that is chaotic in you, let there come silence. Let there be a calming of the clamoring, a stilling of the voices that have laid their claim on you, that have made their home in you, that go with you even to the holy places but will not let you rest, will not let you hear your life with wholeness or feel the grace that fashioned you. Let what distracts you cease. Let what divides you cease. Let there come an end to what diminishes and demeans and let depart all that keeps you in its cage. Let there be an opening into the quiet that lies beneath the chaos, where you find the peace you did not think possible and see what shimmers within the storm.
Lord, it is night. It is night after a long day. What has been done is done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is here. Let our fears of the night, our fears of the world, our fears of the future, and our fears of our lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, our country, our world, and all who are dear to us. The night ushers in the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, to new joys, to new possibilities, to new opportunities to live into your vision of this world. As we close our eyes tonight, Our prayer is that your will is done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. May God bless us and keep us and give us peace. Amen.